really has only ever had two owners. Uh, the Fiedlers who settled here in the 1840s and this was lot one. Um, the first property to be surveyed in the area and he was responsible for planting the original vines. And then uh, the Schultz family settled here in the 1860s. Well, I moved up here when I got married in 1979 and the Barossa Valley essentially is a monoculture. It still is. Um, so if you don't join the wine industry, what else do you do? Unless you're a teacher or a doctor, but um, you really need to take, pull your sleeves up and join the industry because that's part of the whole fabric of our community. So I started working, at, my first job was at Sepplesfield uh, and then I worked at Yolumba and then we had a couple of children and we started running our own business in Turkey Flat. Yeah, in your university's um, major degrees are always arts and the photography. Do you think that um, helps your work today? And I think that's, you know, I've, I've been a stickler to that over the years of actually maintaining that presence of our continuity right through with everything we do and it's reflected in everything we do. Um, just the sort of the finish in the building, the whole, the whole process, it's very important to have that as a con constant all through. I think you, having interviewed all these people over the time, you will see how passionate everyone is. So you, you have to be loved, you have to love the industry. You're not in it to make money. This is, it is a passion um, and you have to be passionate about it through all the rigours that come to us with the seasons and you know, drought and heat and then we get frost. A couple of years ago we got absolutely drilled by frost. So there has to be passion. And then the art side of it, it is very creative. You know, it is an expression of the vineyard. You create, you're creating something different each year. Okay, it's made from Shiraz grapes, but that is, there is a lot of artistry into that. You don't just look at that fruit and say, oh, well, this year we're just going to crush it and do blah, 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 because that's what the recipe says, because there is no recipe. You need to be, there are guidelines which you need to actually maintain um, on making sound wine, but the creativity that goes into making a wine each year is a real artistry. Um, and I think, as I said before, that's what makes wine making so interesting to the general public because of each vintage is so different.